Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm your host, Nadio Lane. Yeah, uh, today I will be talking about natural disaster. Woohoo. So, for those who may or may not know, I was out for the past couple of days, I will say since Tuesday morning, and actually we've been getting hit by earthquakes. And we actually got a hit by a 6.4 magnitude earthquake on Tuesday. And we've been getting some aftershocks here and there. Actually, like not even 10 minutes ago, we actually got a 5.4 magnitude uh, tremor. So yeah, uh, it's still going on. And the thing is, I was out without power for, I will say, uh, since that day, since the 6.4. And I will be talking about that in today's video. I will be talking about the earthquake and the stuff that's been going on here recently in Puerto Rico. So for those who may or may not know, yes, in Puerto Rico we've been getting struck by earthquakes ever since December the 28th. And December 28th we've been getting some of the four shocks which are the smaller er earthquake but they are very very frequent that happens before actually a really big earthquake. And we've been getting a lot of four, three, two uh, the tremors in the same areas until we got a 5.8 on january the 6th or if it was a 5.6 i don't remember but the thing is, it was a pretty strong one a pretty strong tremor and then you know that happened and it was oh my god that was pretty that was pretty scary because you know uh, 5.8 or 5.6 is still noticeable you still you feel it like pretty strong and the thing is, it was like, okay, so that was the, the earthquake. It was pretty strong. Like, there's some destruction here and there. So, yeah, that's that's a yikes. And then, all of a sudden, we got struck by the 6.4 uh, at 4.26 a.m. on, you know, on Tuesday. That was terrifying. <laughs> that was one of the most terrifying experiences ever. At least for me, because I was awake when that happened. So, the thing is, I was on my computer. I was grinding out Maple Story, leveling up my Angelic Buster. Just getting it to level 180. Just finishing the grind and just finishing the, the little things here and there. I was like, okay, I guess I will just finish up this level and then go to bed. You know. And then I was just grinding and then all of a sudden the power just goes out. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just go to bed then. And then, not even five seconds later, I just heard the rumble in the background. Just after hearing those rumbles in the background, like two or three seconds later, everything started shaking heavily. Sorry about the background noise, by the way, neighbors, you know how it is. But everything just started shaking like mad. Why? Let me tell you. If you had never been into an earthquake, imagine someone shaking you off the chair. Just shaking you left and right, up and down, and just trying to shake you off the chair. That's an earthquake. That's pretty much how an earthquake feels. Like everything is just shaking. You're just trying to... You're trying to just stand still and you're just jumping everywhere. But it's not that extreme because... Well, for me, it's not that extreme because it, uh, I was far away from the... In, in from the center of the earthquake, but it, I still felt it like very strong. I can't even imagine the people that just they live closest to the earthquake. So the thing is, it was a terrifying experience. I've I'm no stranger to earthquake. I I felt plenty of them. I felt plenty of you know tremors, but I, this one was the most devastating the strongest one that I've ever felt ever and it was terrifying let me tell you being on an earthquake is no joke is is seriously scary because you're literally just shaking everywhere you can't barely move and I tried to stand up and the shaking was too strong that I it actually hurt both of my knees uh, especially the left one but both of my knees are fine, by the way, if you're curious, but I, I couldn't even find anything. I, was, I wasn't I was able to find cover because the shaking was too strong, uh, but it ended rather quickly. Uh, but the thing is, it was terrifying, to say the least. And my God, like, dude, I haven't felt this terrifying, this scared ever since the, the 2017 Hurricane Maria. 
And this is more devastating than Hurricane Maria in terms of like uh, economy wise. Uh, Hurricane Maria destroyed a bunch of like uh, natural things like trees, uh, poles, like wooden, everything regarded like wood. Like it just trashed everything. There were some destruction, some houses here and there, but it was mostly trees, light poles, stuff like that. But on earthquake, actual houses got destroyed. There were there were casualties. Like I believe there were three casualties found today, and yeah, they were casualties. The it is it's not fun. Uh, the destruction is. I believe it is the most destructive earthquake in over a hundred years and the last actually like really destructive earthquake was in 1918 which got hit by a 7.1 and magnitude earthquake we actually got hit by a 6.4 it's weaker but it was closer and yeah that was my god it was terrifying that's why I bet I was out for the last couple of days I wasn't able to do anything because I didn't have power I actually got power uh, earlier today on Friday and that's also the reason I'm not doing the Luxem video because I really want to talk about this topic because it might not be over uh, so if I go in the dark again this might be the reason I like, we've been getting struck by earthquake left and right like I mentioned not even 10 15 minutes ago we actually I actually felt a 5.4 I was just sitting down, uh, preparing myself to edit, but actually found out that my recording didn't record completely, so I'm, that's why I'm doing this all over again. And actually felt a tremor. Sorry about that clicking noise. I, I actually have my water bottle, uh, my water bottle. I um, mean, I'm just like doing this. So sorry about that. So I actually, uh, the, it actually was a 5.4 magnitude uh, tremor. I actually felt it. I just felt like the, the shakiness like immediately and then stopped completely. So it is far from over. I know it's a terrifying experience and yeah, it's not fun. So the thing is before the actual earthquake, we actually got uh, the power went out on the whole island like from Puerto Rico in, in general, like entirely. And then the shaking, ha shaking has happened. And then when it stopped happening, uh, we didn't have power. I thought it was going to get power like not even that long. Like maybe I will say like a couple of hours later and we might get the power. No, I actually had to wait until Friday for like it was kind of oof. And then the internet came by, I believe a couple of hours later after the power went back. And yeah, it's enough it is a bit terrifying but i wanted to just talk about the my experience with the hurricane because i actually did talk about it on my streams and i did mention a lot of people asked me have i ever stopped playing truth and the answer is once yes i actually did stop throw playing truth forcefully like forcefully I, I don't know how you pronounce it is it forcefully Whatever, you, you get the, what I mean. Like, hurricane, like, I will just explain like, my experience with that hurricane. So, 2017, September, we actually were just, there was a lot of tropical storms, hurricanes, like category one hurricanes, twos, whatever. The thing is, Hurricane Irma, if those who don't know what Hurricane Irma is, it is a category five hurricane that Pretty much stabilized at 185 miles per hour and it was one of the biggest hurricanes that ever passed it was a terrifyingly strong hurricane and it was going directly into puerto rico but it missed last well, last day last hours and it actually just went uh, all the way to the north so we consider ourselves lucky so we were like okay so that happened uh, that was terrifying let me let us just take a chill pill that uh, it, 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 everything's fine, everything's all right. Wrong. <laughs> Not even six, seven days, like I will say around a week later, there was a tropical storm, Tropical Storm Maria. We were expecting more tropical storms because, you know, rains everywhere. But since Hurricane Irma was still there and, you know, Hurricane Irma was so big and it was just like growing weaker by the day, 
uh, it means that all of those wins that Hurricane Irma just left, uh, Hurricane Maria picked up. Like he picked up all all of the Hurricane Irma, so just like wind, and he pretty much became from a tropical storm to a hurricane category five in a matter of like six seven hours. It was ridiculous. Like all of a sudden, I just got a message like saying the news. Okay, new tropical storm that's expected, and then all all of a sudden, I just get another message like later in the day. Uh, Hurricane Maria, terrifying, terrifying Category 5 hurricane. At first I was, I thought it was a troll, but then I just checked the news and it was real and it was just coming by, to, uh, hit us directly. I was like, oh my god, a Category 5 hurricane, it is 165, uh, 165 miles per hour. It was much smaller, but it, it was big enough that it actually covered the whole island. Dude, pretty much doomsday came by and I still remember because... Hurricane Irma came when Destiny 2 launched. I'm a big Destiny fan. Uh, well, I used to play Destiny all like crazy. I uh, on Destiny 1 I got all of the exotics and I was so hyped for Destiny 2. I had my own group and all that sort of stuff. And the thing is, it was I was so excited for Destiny 2 to came out to come out. That's when Hurricane Irma struck. And Hurricane Irma, even though it barely missed, we still got no power for three days so i was just like really far behind and then when it, when the power just came by and you know i was like trying to catch up to everyone who didn't have problems that's when uh once i managed to catch up and started you know started preparing myself to do the raid once the raid came out that's when we got news for the hurricane maria Hurricane Maria struck when we were doing the, uh, the raid, trying to complete the raid, like the first raid, the college raid, for the first time. We were doing the raid when I was I was just checking the news and talking to them, to, to the people who I was in the group with. I was like, okay, this is going to hit. I told them this is going to hit. There's no, like, there's no coming back. Uh, so apparently the, it, this hurricane is going to hit us directly because uh, before, like a couple of hours ago, it was going to go right towards the east side and miss. But you no, know, it went directly. It went from uh, from southeast to northwest. It pretty much went just from right to left, and it was kind of kind of oof. So I I told them, yeah. So might as well just keep playing until the power goes out. So yeah, let's let's move on. Uh, we kept doing the raid. We kept doing the the the, the parts, and we finished most of them. We I believe the only part that we were missing was I, I don't think it was the dogs. I don't remember which part was it, but it was one of them. I I know that it was the last one that we needed until you know before we start fighting Callus, and we and we just start. Uh, that's when the hurricane started picking up. Like, like with the winds and all like the rain the winds and it, it started to get uh, to grow stronger 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 and then all of a sudden power goes out for me because i believe uh i was the first one of the group that actually the power goes out because you know that's my luck so the power goes out for me and i believe for other two other people at the same time and then once the power goes out the rain that like, the wind started to pick up like really quickly and then, you know, I just went downstairs, tried, uh, prayed, just laid on the floor because obviously we didn't have beds. We were literally on the floor, just waiting until the hurricane just just went full force. And it was one of the most terrifying experiences ever. It was on September the 20th and it was around 12 or to 1 a.m. Like 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. like midnight that's when it started like that's when the wind started to pick up like everything just started to pick up like crazy and that's <laughs> my god like let me tell you that uh, the hurricane is one of the most terrifying experience ever that i've ever experienced like in my life and i was i couldn't sleep to, uh, throughout the whole night and yeah, that was pretty much the hurricane. It stood there for around 8 to 12 hours. And 
the eye of the storm literally just pass on like, above us to from where I live. So yeah, it's it's been a terrifying experience. Then after that, everything was destroyed, and for me specifically, uh, I didn't have power for four months. I got power on January 2018, January 12th, uh, from September the 20th, so 2017. I didn't have power from September 20th all the way to January the 12th. And the internet came by when uh, I got Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter World launch, and that's when the internet came back. I was, it was like destiny, like that game is like the best because the day came, I really wanted to play, but I didn't have internet. I was like, God damn it, I really want to play Monster Hunter. And the internet came back on January the 26th. I forgot to mention in the live commentary. So yeah, it was, it wasn't a fun experience. Let me tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty much my two stories on natural disasters. What right now, we're right now in the middle of an earthquake extravaganza or something because earthquakes happening left and right, tremors happening left and right. Actually got one today, like literally not, well, we actually got two today, two tremors, one four point something, I believe it was 4.6 and now it's 5.4. And yeah, so if you see me, if I go in the dark all over again, this is why. Uh, Earthquakes are not fun, they're unpredictable, and you don't know what is going to happen to those things. Thank you everyone for watching, thank you for sticking around as always, leave a like if you want to help the channel grow, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and that is all for today, once again thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and keep on hunting, and stay safe everyone, uh, as mother nature can be quite cruel, but that's how it is. Alright, farewell.